Hello and welcome to Garden of Luma where I provide you with tips for growing edibles in hot climates. Hello, Joe here with Garden of Luma. If you guys are new to this channel, please subscribe to stay updated on the latest videos. In today's video, we're gonna talk about harvesting pomegranates. It is that time of the year. It's just after Halloween. Perfect time to start harvesting your pomegranates. So I'm gonna harvest one of mine and show you guys what it's looking like. Talk a little bit about some of the challenges and problems that we face growing pomegranates here. I am in the Phoenix, Arizona area, growing zone 9B. We are a hot, dry climate, which is perfect for growing pomegranates. So let's go check it out and talk a little bit more. Here is my Parfiaca pomegranate. And these grow more like a bush unless you prune them vigorously and train them to grow like a tree. They can grow like a tree. But I'm totally fine with letting them grow like a bush here as they naturally want to. You can see even some blooms trying to come out here. It's the beginning of November. And it's time to harvest these pomegranates. I've been eating some of these. And one of the problems with growing pomegranates here is the leaf-footed bug. It's just a major problem in our area, the Phoenix, Arizona area, and probably other places as well that grow pomegranates. And what they do is they feed on the these fruits and they pierce the skin of the fruits to feed on them throughout the summer. And what happens is it causes them to rot inside. It creates a fungus and different things. And so I've noticed quite a few of my pomegranates have been ruined from leaf-footed bugs this year. Um, I put these organza bags on them to protect them somewhat, but even still, as this goes up against the skin of the fruit, the bugs can still penetrate through this fabric and so i did get this on too late as well but some of my fruits are still pretty good and i'll cut one open and show you guys on camera what it's like um, this one here looks like a nice fruit but i did have quite a few that were rotten and you can tell by the weight this is pretty heavy but the rotten ones feel a lot lighter and then some of them even get like mushy on the outside so again the leaf footed bugs are a huge problem for pomegranates but overall these trees I mean they're made for a hot dry climate like the desert and they just thrive here other than that with very little little care and water um, you can see here a lot of the leaves are starting to yellow these do go dormant in the winter months so they will lose all their leaves right now so you don't need to panic as you start seeing yellowing leaves on your pomegranate this time of year but typically, you know, around Halloween time, between Halloween and Thanksgiving is a good time to start harvesting your pomegranates. And we've had some chill here. It's been really cold at night, down into the mid 30s in my yard a few nights. And that actually kind of helps with the pomegranates, giving, giving them that red, deep red color to them. They like that extra chill to help with the color change, so. Usually if we get a little colder earlier like we did, then you can harvest them a little bit earlier. But there you go. Let me go show you one of the fruits and what it looks like and talk a little bit more about the taste. Okay, so here's one of my Parfianca pomegranates cut open here so you can see it's getting a nice red color there. And these have excellent flavor here. Have I don't know, they're pretty similar to a wonderful, I had a wonderful pomegranate at my last residence. These I think are just a little bit more on the tart side, which I actually like. Kind of like cranberry juice. The arrows are hardly even noticeable in these when you eat them. I have a little scoop here. Mm, yeah, this is excellent tasting, excellent flavor. If you like pomegranates, this is definitely one to get. Alright, check me out at gardenofluma.com. Thanks for watching.